For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do the sprawl and that says if the 5 kilogram block is suspended from the poly V and the sag of the cord is uh, 0.15 meters in, the, in uh, length, determine the force in cord ABC. Uh, neglect the size of the pulley. Alright? So basically, what you always want to do is try and draw your free body diagram. So you got uh, this point right here. You got the weight, and then you got the tension BC, and the tension BA. So basically, this is how I like to do it. You draw the triangle, and you cut it in half. So we have a nice neat triangle, uh, right triangle. You know that if this is 0.4 meters, this is 0.2 meters. And this right here is 0.15, give it right here, meters. So by the Pythagorean theorem, you know that 0.15 square plus 0.2 square is equal to this value right here square let's call it um well, let's call it the hypotenuse let's call it x x square so x is equal to 0.25 so this is 0.25 meters so now that we have uh, this triangle we can use it to find all the values. You know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero in statics. So negative five kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square, which is the acceleration of gravity, gives you the weight plus two times the force which is actually I call it the tension two times the tension of the cable because you got one tension here one tension there and they're both equal times look at the triangle which is figured out we are working on the y so we multiply by 15 and we divide by 0.25 0 0.15 over 0 0.25 and all that is equal to zero. Now all you have to do is solve for the tension and you get that the tension is equal to 40.9 Newtons. So remember the weight, when they give you the kilograms, they give you that it's five kilograms. To find the, the, the tension in Newtons, the weight, you, all you gotta do is multiply by the acceleration of gravity which is 9.81 meters per second square. And that's how you calculate the weight. So when you got this force and this two force going up, it becomes uh, very easy to figure it out. Let me actually throw it a little bigger. So this is a tension, this is a tension, and this is the weight. And basically what I did with this triangle is I figured out the triangle which this will be point 0.15 this will be point 0.2 and this will be point 0.25 that will make it more obvious so you got two t's going up two t going up and the weight going down and two t going up times point 0.15 over point 0.25 that's how i figured out this formula And then I just solve for the tension. So 40.9 final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.